up guys remix mini you know how it is just showing this you know i got this um, some time ago last video i did was a setup video in november 28th of 2015 it's been quite a while since i messed with it you know it's basically an android based operating system they did their own spin to it made it kind of like a desktop thing you know you got a taskbar like you do in windows it's pretty cool got your standard taskbar features volume bluetooth that's something else you know telling you what you're using input methods ethernet or wi-fi notifications panel you know so all your certain features with that so pretty dope you know pretty dope just trying to test with this seeing if we can get this screen recorder working so you can see i got you know apps on here this is like wallpaper for a desktop just imagine you know it is an android based operating system so you could you see these apps on your phone you guys probably see that you know play games it's google you, you definitely probably see that that's on most uh your android phones there the play store you know google chrome you might use that too so pretty cool pretty cool you know these guys um got a taskbar down here in the left corner you can see this little uh little design there that's kind of like their uh, start button, like you have Windows. You click that, you know, open up, shows what apps you uh, got on here, you know, certain ones. You could go here in this left corner, there's a magnifying glass search. You could even turn the power off from there. That's pretty sweet, you know. So we'll scroll down and just certain, you know, apps. Remix Central, that's um, an app store of apps they recommend for this uh, Remix Mini. Probably apps that are user tested. There's quite a few there you know something to keep you um busy with this uh product tv app store chrome switcher you know i got some certain games i've purchased and downloaded and wanted to try out happy chick emulator seems to show up okay you know i haven't tried it yet but i, I think it'll work so you can go up here to this thing in the left corner next to the uh magnifying glass and you know you could um go through these apps by however name date installed whichever one you use the most so that, that's kind of handy so um, what's up guys just chilling just thought i'd flip it up you know take a break from the beats and get back into uh my games and my tech and all that stuff a little so this is remix mini let me let me show you what this is if you guys never uh, okay it's probably gonna open up that's pretty sweet right there dope 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 okay this is what we're using right here remix mini so if you could see this basically that's well, i'll go down more there it is right there just like a mini desktop android kind of computer thing it's kind of cool you know if, if you're looking for something to use in your house and you, you don't want to get a laptop or need a big desktop or even want to spend a lot of money you know I mean, you can get this. It, it's it's about ninety bucks now. It did go up in price. I pledged on it on Kickstarter a long time ago, and I think I got it for like forty nine ninety nine, and ten dollars shipping was like fifty nine bucks. So you know, it's definitely good price now. It's like ninety dollars, but you know, it, it's still pretty cool if if you're looking for something to surf the internet and do this kind of stuff, and and you know, basically play with the um, I guess you could say the Android ecosystem you know android operating system for your smartphones and tablets and you can use it on a monitor or a tv or whatever it, it's kind of cool you, you to turn it on you just click where it says remix you just touch and it turns on you could touch and hold that in for a couple seconds and i think it'll present you with you know a shutdown standby restart menu so it's kind of dope kind of dope here's just some of the specs of it 64 bit so it's runs decent you know see and that's how you turn it off you just touch it and oh and there it goes turns on and here's here's your ways to can you know it's got ethernet connection wi-fi bluetooth 4.0 usb see that's got a, they got a nice kind of imac like monitor there they got their little remix mini their keyboard in their um, mouse and it does got two usb ports and a micro SD card slot and I'm using a USB powered wired a USB wired mouse hooked up to it 
and I got a wireless keyboard, USB wireless keyboard hooked up to it as well, which is the Logitech K400 Plus. So kind of kind of cool little setup here. You know, this keyboard's even got a trackpad, so I can use it as a mouse too. And you know, it's got all your media buttons and F, you know, function buttons and all that. And just having a mouse on it too, it, it's it's pretty pretty cool. You know, definitely usable if you're trying to surf the web or whatever. And see, there's different sizes there's a one gig of ram eight gigabyte of storage size and two gig of ram 16 gigabyte that's the one i got i got the bigger one you know i figured more storage more ram run a little better be able to put a little you know a couple more apps on it so it's kind of cool <clears throat> i mean of course i ain't got a nice little imac looking monitor but i'm fine with my uh, vizio high definition tv thing you know So, not too bad. Here's the specs. Let's go all the way down. Let's take a look at the specs if you want. It's the processor, quad core thing. Here's the, the different models. Size of it. And it can. There's your two USB ports, micro SD slot, headphone port. So kind of kind of cool, you know. I'm into this kind of stuff and understand this technology. So I said, hey, I'm gonna get it. See what it's going for. Like I said, I think it's 90 bucks now. I definitely got a good price on it. You could get some of those Kickstarter um, pledges going on and sometimes get it for cheaper. So yeah, look, 89.99. So 90 bucks, I paid about 60, so I definitely saved $30, that's what's up. But I imagine the one gigabyte is slash eight gigabyte model should be cheaper, but I don't see it. I'm wondering if they sold out or don't make it anymore or what. This looks kind of cool, this four gigabyte 32, you know, that looks nice. Two USB 3.0, micro SD. 129 bucks. I mean, you know, but probably could have, if you did the Kickstarter, probably could have got it for $30 less, 99 you know. And this one, that's the, the, probably the eight, you know, probably, let's see, okay, two gigabyte, 16 gigabyte model, 99 bucks. Probably could have got that on Kickstarter for about 69 you know. It seems usually about 20, 30 bucks less. Would have definitely got this one if I'd have known about it something else to play with but no nah, i don't need it but word up guys you know this is remix os the operating system and i'm also using the uh mini computer that you know is incorporated to work with this or this is incorporated in the mini the little mini computer and probably all their other boxes as well you can actually install this um operating system on on a pc you just have to set up your hard drive right you know do all that partition it and but you can. It's probably just like installing Linux or something of that nature. But, you know, definitely kind of cool. I mean, I, I, I use my laptop for, you know, other purposes that I need PC, PC, you know, and OS X stuff for. So I don't have it on that. But I, I bought this specifically just to play with this, you know, environment, this Remix OS Android environment. So it's kind of kind of cool, you know. I, I Definitely want to get me one of these cheap um, Android boxes now. It seems like they're getting better specs. I'm seeing them with four gigs of RAM, you know, higher end processors. So I might try to look for one of those, one of those Chinese ones or whatever. But I'm happy with this, you know, to surf the internet and do kind of just basic stuff. I got my shield to play the games that, you know, come out on Android, um, whatever it is, you know, what is it called now? Google Play Store, Android TV Store. Android TV, Google Play Store, whatever it is, you know. So I'm happy with that. And there's just other games you could get here in, in the Play Store, you know. Can't probably play too many over the, you know, power power intensive games. But you could probably definitely get some going on. But that's about it. You know, this is Remix Mini. I don't know if we've gone through the settings, you know. Settings tab right here has all your uh, standard control panel like settings that you'd see in windows and you know even if you 
look at the settings tab on your phone you know you'll you'll see most of these or maybe not all of these but some of these in there as well you can go to about and tells you about it you know go back and um, see if there's any updates we're already at the latest version so that's good you can even change the wallpaper if, if you want to you know they I think they got a couple different ones now <clears throat> change the resolution I, I even think this is a is a 1080 monitor so look you can go there and cancel I'll probably just cancel it might already you know no, we're at 1280, but that's fine with me. I don't think I need anything else. They have a couple of wallpapers, you know. But it's pretty cool. Something to surf the internet with and mess around with them. Android apps and games, you know, and whatnot. I'm kind of curious what version of... Okay, Android 5.1, so, you know, it's... It's 5.1 version, but cool. Well, we're gonna bounce, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and see if it comes out good and if I even came out. But right on, guys. Remix Mini with Remix OS. Just some trying to flip it up. Haven't messed with it for geez, probably since I did the setup. I might have tried it a couple times after that until I got my shield. And then once I got the shield, because I was using it for a while for like Cody and all that. And then once I got the shield, I think the shield pretty much um, became my main thing. Well, right, I'm out. Peace.